Well, uh, greetings there, fellow model builders. And uh, as you can see, I have been able to acquire an actual Martin Baker Mark H7 ejection seat. This seat was out of an F, uh, F4E Phantom. Uh, the tail number was uh, 67 0235. And uh, <clears throat> something kind of unique about this is the. Uh, the top, this the seat actually comes in two parts. You have the uh, seat pan down here, and then this part here, the top part. Well, the top part is aft. This was in the this was the back seater, the uh, weapon systems officer seat, and the forward was uh, the pilot seat. And um, I did a little bit of history on this aircraft, and it was an F four E. And what I was able to find out is that uh, it ended its life on the uh, Nellis uh, gunnery range as, as a target. So um, ultimately it was stripped of usable parts like the ejection seats, engines, and whatever else. And uh, it uh, became a target. I'm still trying to obtain more information on it. But there are actual, there's a few pictures of the, of the actual plane on the internet that I've been able to see and I'm gonna write to uh, there's an address I can write to uh, I don't remember the name but it's I can get some more inf more detailed information about the um, airplane the F4 Phantom but uh, I was able to acquire this um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I finally got it it pretty much came as it is, except I already had the uh, parachute pack. I've had that for years, and I've always, I never knew if I'd ever actually get a seat or not. And I got one. But a little bit about this, uh, this here, this is the, this is the drogue gun, right there, and then that is the uh, seat initiator. Um, after the drogue gun fires, there's, there's supposed to be a little key here, but it's missing, and. Uh, there's a cartridge in there that would fire and it will send um, the gas goes through this tube follows it goes all the way through here and then if there was a rocket motor under it it would go through this line here into the rocket rocket motor initiating the uh, rocket motor to fire it is missing the uh, center ejection handle but um, I can get one of those and actually that key looks just like this one here that's for the guillotine um, the key that's missing up there looks just like that but this is for the guillotine this this isn't it this isn't an ejection handle that uh, if the pilot or the back seater needed to get out of the plane for an emergency he would pull this and it would disconnect all his straps and uh, this is actually the guillotine right here and if I actually had a parachute in this, the, the parachute withdrawal line would go through here and uh, subsequently be severed. But uh, the drogue chute would go in there, which I'm missing, and there's the, those are the straps that would go here. If uh, Probably going to have to fill this with some kind of um, foam or something because I'm not, you know... Even if I do acquire a parachute, I don't know how to pack it. But uh, and this is the uh, drogue withdrawal line. It, it attaches to the uh, drogue gun right here. And this is actually a big slug. And it shoots out and it pulls the uh, drogue the drogue chute. So and there, of course, is the uh, upper upper firing handles. Um, I did pull these out and uh, kind of. Kind of funny, uh, I pulled them out and there was an assassin bug in here. Or, or a kissing bug. And if you, you're not familiar with those, those can actually be kind of dangerous. Um, if they bite you, they can make you sick with uh, some cagus disease or some... I'm probably butchering the name of the disease I can give you, but... It, it is treatable, it's nothing fatal, but anyway. That's the... Uh, this back here is the barostatic pressure sensor. It kind of acts like an altimeter. And uh, once the uh, seat is fired, it it senses how 
what the altitude is and then it would uh, separate the seat the pilot from the seat so that's just what little bit I've been able to uh, get educated on about it and I'm still learning and it, the seat is missing a few things like there's a there's an initiator rod that's missing that connects to the barostatic pressure sensor looks uh, almost identical to this one that's right here this this would be connected to the bulk the bulkhead of the cockpit and once the seat is um, catapulted by the the catapult gun that's in the that's missing also um, it would pull this and that what's that's what triggers the uh, seat in the rocket initiator there so but yeah there's a catapult that a big tube that goes in the back of this it goes right down there and I don't have that so but that's it this is my coolest thing ever and uh, I was really lucky to get it these things are pretty rare and I it's not like you can just go down to Walmart and pick one of these up so anyway just wanted to share this with you all and uh, as time goes by as I acquire things for it uh, like the uh, there's a survival kit that goes there and then there's a lumbar pad thing doesn't really look that comfortable to sit in and uh, but uh, anyway just something cool to have and look at so there's my ejection seat thank you all for watching and happy model building take care everybody